Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Tech LT World. So today we are going to discuss about the Mac, especially we are going to discuss about the Mac PDU format. Okay, and uh, before that, let's go with uh, a slight introduction of the Mac. So when we are telling about the Mac layer, so uh, let's concentrate. This is layer three, which includes your NAS RRC. Okay. And when we talk about the L2, in L2 it will consider we will consider PDCP, RLC, and the Mac layer. This is what we call it as a layer three, uh, layer two. Okay. And when we talk about the spec number of Mac, so the spec number of Mac when you talk in terms of LT, it is 36.321 and with respect to 5G it will be 38 series so it will be 38.321 so if you'll go about uh, the functionalities of the Mac so I will I will definitely have the uh, separate video on that but yeah I uh, let's let's go one liner with the mac functionalities okay so i have already told you so when we talk about the upper layer that is layer 3 and the l2 which is which includes pdcp rlc in the mac okay and the lower layer l1 that is uh, the file layer okay so uh, the functionality the major functionalities of the mac if you consider okay so i'm writing few of that i will have the separate video on that but yeah let me write down so multiplexing error correction through hark priority handling uh, between the UVs okay and mapping between logical and transport channel okay scheduling information reporting okay so these are or you can say the logical channel prioritization these all are the functionalities so for the functionalities we will we will discuss in depth in a separate video today we will concentrate on the mac pdu format so these are the l2 layer fun, uh, mac layer functionalities okay and what exactly it is uh, giving service to the upper layer that is data transfer okay and radio resource allocation and we talk about what exactly it is doing in the uh, to the lower layer that is data transfer uh, cqi uh, reporting measurements all the things it will be doing to l1 okay so this is uh, you can say a slight introduction on the uh, what exactly uh, the mac layer okay so let's go with our main agenda that is mac pdu format in lt okay so uh, before the moving to the topic um, i have one uh, one liner uh, point on what exactly the pdu and the SDU means because a lot of people will get confused over this what exactly we call it as uh, the PDU and the SDU okay so whenever we are talking about let's first discuss what is SDU okay so in uh, you can say if you'll go with the definition of the SDU so it represents the data at the higher layer of the communication in the protocol stack okay and 
whatever the information so if you go with the name and the uh, uh, abbreviation it is service data unit and if you go with the pdu it is protocol data unit okay so whenever i'm telling about sdu so sdu uh, in a simple term the information that the higher layer protocol passes down to the lower layer so here exactly if you are talking about the higher layer which is it is passing down to the lower layer okay that what exactly so this we can consider that from the upper layer if whatever the unit is coming we we call it as a sdu when it comes to this okay to the mac layer then the whatever the outcome is coming from here okay that we can call it as a pdu or if you go with the definition so pdu is the data unit at any given layer of protocol stack each layer encapsulate the sdu so it is encapsulating the sdus okay which it receives from the higher layer okay and adding the uh, it uh, and it it will add some control information okay and then the process continues and it will keep sending it down the protocol stack until the data completely transmitted so in general whatever coming from the higher layer is sdu going down side the dual uh, lower layer become pdus okay so now let's enter into the topic where we are going to discuss about the mac pdu format so this is what exactly uh, the mac pdus look like okay so this is what uh, let me change the color okay so this is the mac pdu okay or one transport block so this is complete mac pdu and this consists of mac header first of all then mac ce that is mac control element we will discuss this in a separate video okay so after the mac header it will be having mac control elements okay depend upon uh, the subheaders what are, what are the uh, contents in that mac okay based on that the mac control element will be there and then we have a mac sdus okay and then we'll be having padding bits so padding bit basically if we we'll talk about the padding padding is added when suppose we are lagging with some bit size suppose we have 183 bit size of data okay and till mac sdu it is 178 then 5 bit need to be added so that the complete mac pdu will be formed and it can be used as a complete data to be transferred so that 5 bit is like you can say the padding bits okay so this is the structure of the mac pdu okay let me uh, go little bit uh, inside of this okay and we'll take some examples also uh, before that uh, let's talk about this mac header okay so in mac pdu it consists of all these elements okay and apart from the mac header whatever the data uh, you are seeing okay that is mac control element that is mac ce mac sdu okay mac sdu and padding bit if it is needed this is what exactly we call it as a mac payload and what exactly payload is payload means the actual data so this is the actual data okay and this is the mac header so mac header plus actual data is complete one mac pdu okay now 
let's go with this mac header okay so what exactly it consists of so when we talk about the mac header mac header consists of multiple subheaders you can see subheader 1 subheader 2 so i will discuss about the subheaders also what exactly uh, the subheader uh, means and what exactly uh, it contains okay and you can see uh, yeah so what exactly this mac header consists of what exactly the mac header uh, components are so whenever we are talking about the mac header so mac header consists of multiple subheaders and it will be carrying the informations related to rnti okay modulation coding scheme arc process information okay and the complete transport block size okay In the information about the transport block size okay so these are the things we can get it uh, from this mac header okay and when we talk about the subheaders which it consists of let me go to the next slide to understand the subheader okay wait a minute and see i have mentioned about this before that mac control element so mac control element if you talk about mac control element is basically used or it enables the control information okay that need to be uh, sent with the data transmission okay i will tell this this is a separate topic we will go through this okay and there is a proper mapping i have one table also with this lc id okay there exactly uh, the mac control element significance we will able to see okay what 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 are the significance of this mac control element okay yeah or basically it's a control signaling okay let's focus on the mac header and mac subheaders so mac headers we are having this information now let's talk about the subheaders so c this is the subheaders how exactly it, it look like okay so uh, in a simple terms mac subheader okay so mac header can be multiple subheaders one mac header can have multiple subheaders okay and one subheaders subheader okay will be for each you can say control element for each mac control element okay for mac as dus and for padding okay and when we talk about the size of the subheader okay which we are representing here okay this can be of one bytes two bytes or three bytes in length okay so when we talk about the bytes one bytes equal to eight bits okay and eight bits we can call it as a one octet also okay like if you take an example zero 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 one 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 this is what we call it as a one octet 
okay okay so now let's concentrate on max subheader so here you are able to see the mac header structure okay where there are few variables that is r r e l c i d f and l okay so we will go with each of this with the significance what are the significance for this okay so whenever we are talking about this 2r okay this 2r this is basically reserved bits okay and the size of each is one bit okay and this always set to zero okay let's talk about this e e is the extension bit okay this is also of one bit okay i will take example also for this okay so if there are more uh, fields are there in that particular subheader then this extension bit will be one okay if not then it will be zero okay now one of the most important thing that is l c e i d okay l c e i d is nothing but we call it as a logical channel id okay i will explain that Log, uh, logical channel id okay so whenever we are talking about this logical channel id this will be of 5 bits okay and uh, I will tell you what exactly it consists of okay what exactly it is giving it is basically related to your max c okay giving idea of what exactly it is going to my control is going to activate okay with the table okay or let's go with this table okay so this is what exactly the logical channel id is okay you can see the lc id values okay when you focus uh, focus on this lc id values for each this is for uh, dl and this is for ul okay so you can see if it is this control channel so the lc id will represent this one okay if you are if in the mac is going to activate the particular control signaling that is for the long drx then the bit side 110 one zero is representing the long drx mac control activation and deactivation then this bit will representing that particular control uh, uh you can say signaling okay for padding if one 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 five times okay this is for the padding for timing advance this is your uh, lcid okay and again for the uplink you can see so the phr crnti bsr padding okay this this are the lcids okay so that is what exactly we are discussing this is the lcid this is also of 5 bits okay and then we have a bit called f f bit we call it as a format bit okay it is also of one bit of size okay and this this basically defines the length and finally we have th that is this length okay so this defined whether it will be seven one octet or it will go for the two octet that was exactly it's representing and when we talk about the l l is the length of sdu in bytes okay it can be of 7 or 15 bits okay so whenever we are talking about let's take an example in a simple example okay for this one which we have discussed so let's take r reserved is 0 okay 
this two are reserved one one bit zero zero e is the extension bit let's suppose there is no extension bit zero lcid we know it is of the five bits let's take any example mm, let's take example of crnti that is one one zero one one okay so it will be written as one one zero one one okay this is five bit of information okay now f is the format bit let's take it as a zero this is one bit information and l l depends upon the size let's take an example with seven okay so let's add the size let me change the color so that you can differentiate go with the seven bits zero one 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 zero okay one zero this is seven bit of information okay suppose if it is of 15 okay so let's go with the 15 also so this is the 7 okay let's add add 8 more so 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay this is 8 bit and this is 7 so this is example of 15 bit also okay so let me write down the points here okay I believe that you, you got the understanding what exactly I'm trying to say. So this is, focus on this, okay. So this is R, this is R, this is E, this is LCID, that is of five bits, okay. And F, so, this one is your f and then either your sdu side is of 7 or 15 bit so from here uh, to here when we are taking the 7 bit this can be the example and when we are taking the 15 bit so sorry considering from here okay and when we are considering add one more bit so that it will be easy 15 bit you just count it from here so this can be the 15 bit sdu okay so easily you can understand and here it is written in octet format what i have told you about the octet one octet is equal to eight bits correct so if you see here one two three four five six seven eight correct four or eight this is one octet okay eight now go from here one two three four five six seven eight two octet so basically when it is example of seven bit okay it will be of two octet and when we are going with the example of 15 bits okay subheader type 15 bit okay then this 8 bit more it will be added that is one more octet so this is a third octet so octet 0 2 and 3 understood this is how exactly your mac subheader look like okay where it is representing this R R E L C I D L C I D I have already told you okay that this is what exactly the L C I D mapping is okay and so whenever we are talking about the Mac control anyhow I'm I'm going to take uh, the separate uh, video on that okay so in this particular you can see L C I D let's take a simple example over here okay uh, let's take about the cell act this cell activation and the deactivation okay so cell the cell activation and the deactivation mac control element if you talk about the mac control element of this this is the mac control element for this the lcid is this one the index is this one okay and that is represented basically 58 and 57 okay so this is how exactly the Mac control elements 
we can read it via this LCID. Okay. Now, uh, before uh, uh, means concluding, I need to take one example. Okay, about this Mac control, uh, about this uh, Mac PDU. Okay, where uh, we will see the Mac subheaders with a real example okay so let me take uh, one example okay uh, i will take example here only i think it will be much more clear than okay yeah so let's see uh i will take two examples okay for this Mac control element, okay. So, see, uh, let's take an example where we don't have any. Uh, so the bit, if you if you are telling about the bits, the information, it will suppose let's take you will okay. So it will be like bits in this format, okay. The information in this zero three four five zero 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 zero. 3C, 33, okay, 63. Suppose this is the information, okay. Now we need to analyze the first bit, okay. After that, only we are able to uh, understand. So let's check this is this is the first bit, 03. So 03. If you convert this bit, okay, first of all into the sex format. So this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, and then 1, 1, okay, this is, we are, we are analyzing this bit, okay, so in this way, if we are going to read, let's read it, so the first one is your R, the second bit is your R, see R, R, the third bit is your E, so E is 0 means it is not the extended one, okay, and let's go with this, okay, so this will be anyhow going to uh, represent your LCID, correct, so this is how exactly we are reading the headers, this uh, subheaders. Okay, so if we will check with the other data, okay, where uh, suppose not it is not zero. Some suppose it is having the twenty. Okay, so let's convert twenty uh, into that uh, X format one. Okay. Okay, so this one is your R, this one is your R, and E. E is telling that, okay, in this particular header, we have the extended bit. Okay, we have that extended bit, this one. Okay, so when we are talking about the extended bit, then we need to go, suppose the other data is 0, 6, okay, and then 1F. Then we need to go, the extended bit is telling that, okay, your LCID will be this, okay. This will be your LCID in a binary, okay. And this basically uh, represent your LCID for the CCCH, okay. And since we have already told the extended bit so further when we will decode this 0 6 this is your extended bit so 0 6 will be 1 1 0 okay so now you can see after that f lcid is there after that f is 0 okay and then this particular bit we call it as a 1 octet and that will be your SDU, correct? That is your L. You understood how exactly we are going to read this data. This, this is the example. 
we can take it okay so this lc id is basically we will able to understand okay this bit, bit is for what if you you can take an example suppose uh sort bsr so one 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 zero one so suppose this lc id is one 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 zero one okay so you can understand that particular bit is for uh, that particular subheader is for a uh, bit is for your uh, sort bsr okay sort bsr mac control element okay so this will be get activated for that particular bit and we'll able to understand okay in this particular mac videos we have what are the subheaders for which particular what are the mac control elements have been mapped okay understood so this is what exactly in this video so we are able to understand about sorry let me clear this okay so basically we are able to we are able to understand about mac pdu sdus mac subheader okay and then lcid lcid anyhow i will go with the separate video for that mac ce also i will go with the separate video but yeah you will able to understand about how exactly it is mapped how to read this particular uh, uh, subheaders this is very much important okay and this is your lcid table as per the 3gpp so go with this i believe that you have you must like the video okay probably the next video i will go with any of the mac layer topic okay it can be uh, i have a list of the topics okay drx hark rag max control element okay paging is not for uh, this mac but yeah that topic also i will cover okay going forward then we will uh, go with bsr and phr okay and ca okay and this topic is very much important which will help you to enhance the mac layer topic okay so thanks everyone for watching uh, the video okay hope definitely will like this okay please do subscribe our channel in the youtube okay join our telegram follow us on linkedin okay for the regular updates okay we have our facebook page we have our website okay you can go the lot of documentation are there okay www dot tech sorry www dot tech lt world dot com okay so go with our website okay and uh, just follow for the good updates okay we used to uh, go with the batches also okay for the course okay uh, and uh, this coming december 10th also uh, we have one demo if anyone want they can join the demo the link is there in uh, the below description okay so thanks everyone for watching the video thank you thanks everyone